The first thing we need to do is make sure that your Delta 6 gun receiver is set to PC mode. You can then plug the receiver into your computer. Next we'll need to plug the Oculus Rift into the PC, as you'll need the VR headset to see what's going on. If you notice, we do not have the head tracker attached. This is fine as we'll be using the Delta 6 for all of our aiming and moving. You can then open the Vorpex configuration menu and go into the General Settings tab. Here you'll need to untick the box that says Enable Head Tracking, as again, we'll be using the tracking only using the Delta 6. And leaving the Head Tracking Roll option is a personal preference. This will allow the game to tilt side to side whenever you're tilting your head. We can then go over to the in-game key bindings menu, and here you'll want to set the edge peak to the tab button. This will allow us to see the edge of the screen in games like Call of Duty and Battlefield whenever you have to respawn and such. The next thing we have to do is open up our game and map our controls. As most games let you set two sets of controls, this usually won't interfere with your normal gaming. Turning the dial on top of your Delta 6 will allow you to change the sensitivity. You'll know what sensitivity you're using by looking at the left side of the dial. Setting number 1 is the lowest sensitivity setting, and will allow for a full 360 spin in-game. And here you can see that when using sensitivity setting number 6, less physical movement will result in much more in-game movement. We hope this video has helped make things a little bit more clear and get you set up using your Delta 6 with the Vorpex software and your Oculus Rift headset. If there's any other questions you have, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, like this video if you've liked it, and subscribe if you'd like to view more.